Hi and welcome to a new tutorial in uh, Fusion 360. Here I am continue working on the Mini Copper S. Here I add uh, some uh, detail. Make sure that you check on the 3D sketch. You will start with the spline here. As you can see, uh, people asking me about the blueprint, you will find it on the description. You can download the uh, not free uh, episode, there are two the episode uh, 5 and episode uh, 10 you will find it on my website then you can find also the 3d uh, car on my website here make sure that is tangent once you finish this you can link the two points with a spline it's okay like that when you draw this as you can see you can uh, use the handles and move it with the M key If you have not the handles, you can activate it with the right click and activate handles. From the left, it's okay. Just see from the top. From the top, I will just move it a little bit. You have to select the the good point or the right point to move the, um, the spline It's good like this. Just uh, see from the the back. I think it's okay like that. Let's jump to the feature. Use patch. Select uh, all of these edges and you have a good result as you can see here okay once you finish this let's go ahead and add a new feature here to finish the the back side not the basic of the back side because there are some DT. Let's do this one. I will draw uh, here. I will choose the front front plane and activate the 3D sketch. I will make two points, I will start with two points, I will add another after.
please tell me if uh, when I am working on the real time and I don't actually write the video it's uh, good or not because I decide to make uh, the videos step by step and don't accelerate uh, some uh, some videos when I make the the sketches because I know that it takes times but that help beginners to follow me step step by step. But if you are advanced, you can actually write the video and uh, you can see the result after if you have uh, did it. If you have done it. You have to see this line just like that from the top. Okay, let's now add another sketch to the first one. Use this uh, handed to make this arc to fit to the blueprint. This one will be here. Don't try to make it perfect uh, because uh, you will take two times. Just make it closest to close to the blueprint, okay? Okay, like that. Just move this one a little bit. Now let's add another spline here. I don't know why I can't find here the center but if you can do it leave it like that and make this one just like that select it and make it horizontal Okay, no, just move it as you can see here. And now use the handles to make the arc. Find the other handles. It's okay. We just change this one.
it's okay like that you can change after whatever you want okay but don't worry you did it make this one but it's not good like that problem here because I can't find the center what I have to do is to move this point on um, on X axis okay as you can see you will find you can move it as you can see that's nice method to move it okay that's the trip here just move it as you can see to find the zero okay as you can see when you when you select it it's okay like that Just move this handle. I want to be here like this. Okay. Now let's add another another segment here. Another edge. Between these points. you finish all of this you can use match feature <laughs> to select all of these to have best result here don't worry if you if the normal reverse it's not a problem we'll fix that early Once you're done with this, I will add another feature here now. Uh, let's show the. Let's start a new sketch on the left side. It's too easy, this one. We'll use another feature just to draw. Uh, segment like this one make it tangent and I will make feature here with uh, <coughs> with a path here because before that you have to to make all this surfaces stitch okay to make sure that uh, the when uh, when you make the feature the sweep feature uh, you will uh, make it continue and uh, you will make only one path for that we we add stitch to surfaces. Okay. It's okay like that. 
and now let's go ahead and use sweep feature sweep feature use here like a path and check this one and select and continue the path as you can see make sure that when you select this one fusion select all the path not just the segment here we arrive to achieve the tutorial please find me on facebook you i will find you next week to continue working on this car maybe the top of this car thanks for watching and see you next week